Have you ever wondered how we can build real-time scalable computer vision systems, but also systems that can work in the real world? This is actually like a very hard problem. And when we're building computer vision systems, projects and so on, we want to apply it on real business use cases. It doesn't really matter if we have a model working in our Jupyter Notebook, we have our OpenCV window up and running with all the detections and so on. We need to know how we can actually create real world projects, how we can scale it to multiple cameras, run it in real time, how does the hardware work, how do we do monitoring, how do we connect it to databases, build systems around it because again AI and computer vision and so on is just a very small part of a whole project we need to know system architecture software development in general so this is a very good thing to focus on because most people they just focus on the model part of it all the theoretical stuff and so on and also probably because the universities and so on the traditional education they just cheat all the theory and so on that don't treat the practical stuff if you're taking an ai degree and so on you don't know as much about software development how to actually like deploy systems out there how do we scale systems and so on and most likely because like the professors and so on the teachers and the university they have no clue how to actually like build software architectures real software systems that work in the real world so i'm going to create this video here i'm going to create a bunch of videos in the future basically just covering this because there's a huge gap going from traditional education into the real world there's a large gap so we need to know this because this is where 80 to 90 percent of the work is the model side all the algorithms and so on like you can just have an update detection up and running with autolytics the yolo models in pretty much like an hour you can apply some basic algorithms on top of it you do tracking you can do optic counting and so on just prompt Claude or ChatGPT to come up with the algorithms. Then you basically have your system up and running on a pre-recorded video file. But the hard part is to then take your model, deploy it into production and be able to scale it to multiple cameras. If you just ask yourself this question here, I give you a problem, you need to solve it. You need to solve this for a business use case. How do you actually like take your model? I'm telling you, deploy this model here to 20 systems. I want to do monitoring of my warehouse inventory, for example. I need to track all the data, need to store all the information and data and so on in the system. I want to create a dashboard, UI. I want the whole system to talk together. We can just have a pre-recorded video working in our own local environment. And also when you want to scale it to 20 cameras, could be that you're running 10, 20, 30 frames per second on your laptop or on your local GPU, but it's a whole nother world when we want to connect to cameras in real time, have 20 cameras working at the same time in real time as well, like processing 20, 30 frames per second on 20 camera is a very hard problem. We need to know all the frameworks where we can actually go in and do that because then we need synchronization. We need to take into account all the cameras, all the metadata for each camera, build the software around it. We need to have APIs for our backend system. We want to have a front end showing all the results, the visualizations, talking together with the backend. So that we don't just have a backend and a front end or a standalone AI system. We actually have these three components talking together and it's only going to be more popular in the future. Like all systems will be built with AI, like integrated with AI into existing systems and so on. So this is really important to know. How do you take a model system, deploy it with Docker, then you can both deploy it on the cloud, locally or in whatever environment that you want. So we need to know way more than just how to build models because at the end of the day, also if you want to get out there and get a job, I'm teaching all of this inside of my AI career program. Basically what I'm doing, how to get freelance work, how to stand out out there, Basically just put your work out there. You need to build trust. You need to build your own network, credibility for other people, and you will get ton more opportunities. But the most important thing is that you know how to act like solve business use cases. At the end of the day, the whole world is about making money. Like if your models is not making money, like no one is going to hire you. No one has resources to just have you sitting there, like try out a couple of layers, try to do some high parameter tuning on models or come up with your own model spend like three six months on that like that's hundreds of thousands of dollars like no company has resources just throw that out the window then we're talking about meta google and so on real world use cases we need to be able to solve it and you will stand out because most people 90 percent of people maybe even 95 percent of people they focus on 20 percent of the work where they should actually put the focus and the dedication into the 80 percent 
probably 80, 90 percent is actually like systems deploying stuff, like getting it out there. It's so easy to create these nice quick Python scripts that can do pretty much everything. But again, you can just send this to a client or a customer. I have this Python script working in my own local environment, so it works. But that's not how the world is working and running out in the real world. So when we're talking about the different tools or technologies that we need, like for development, we have Python, C++, PyTorch, whatever framework that you want to train your models on. We then convert it to ONNX, TensorRT, depending on what framework, hardware and so on that you're going to run it with. So we need to know this as well. You need to be very good at how do we export the model, run it into production, depending on the hardware, the system that you're building and so on doesn't need to be real time. Is it cloud based system? Most computer vision systems that I work with is act like on the edge. So we need to run real time video analytics. So this is pretty much everything. We have OpenCV, PIL, all those different frameworks, standard frameworks. But again, most people, they just focus on the development part, which is only 20% of the work. The hard thing is to scale systems and act like make money with your models, set up whole automated pipelines, architectures, and build software systems around it. And also, how do you communicate? If I gave you a problem, you have an AI model running, tracking algorithm, you do counting systems and so on. Yes, you have it up and running, but if I gave you the task, how do I connect it to my system? I have no idea about how your AI models work. I have my backend system here. I just want this AI feature. How do you actually like, take that integrated into my existing systems. Like most people, they would have no clue about that. How we can actually communicate different messaging protocols. How do you deploy the models? What are the best options? Hardware, all these considerations. Like you should basically just have a list. It's basically just a list. When you know this, you can deploy the exact same thing, the exact same system to pretty much 90% of the use cases out there. So when we're talking about infrastructure, Docker, you need to know that's very good for deployment. Kubernetes, if you want to have orchestration, if you want to scale your systems and so on, and especially if you want to run it in the cloud. AWS, GCP, Azure, and so on for cloud-based solutions. But again, 80% of the work that I'm doing is pretty much on device, on local servers, processing real-time computer vision on multiple cameras. Then we need to know some messaging protocols, messaging frameworks, and so on. So we have Redis, we have different databases and so on that you need to know, could be MongoDB, Postgres, SQL, SQLite and so on, really depends on your system. If you have some lightweight systems where you can store it locally and so on, it might be that you don't want to send your data somewhere, you can use SQLite, basically just for fast processing, it's very lightweight and easy to work with. And also some messaging protocol, messaging broker and so on, depending on your system, could be RabbitMQ, MQTT and so on, but also a very cool one for real-time video analytics is Zero MQ. So it's just very lightweight. It's basically just a queue. You can send the data in there. You can connect to it on your network. You can deploy it in cloud-based solution systems as well. And then you basically just have that as your messaging broker or like the protocol. You can connect individual nodes and so on. So it depends on the messaging. Some of them have like server and node. So each node sent to the server and then it basically just works as a network. With ZeroMQ, we can connect communication directly between two nodes. It's very lightweight. We can connect images, metadata and so on. So this is also very important to know. And I bet that 90% of people like they have no idea about all of these things because most of it is actually like software development, backend engineering and so on, but we need to know it as AI and computer vision engineers as well, especially if you want to build standalone systems and be able to stand out there because most people don't know this. Then we can go and do some monitoring. We can use Prometheus, Grafana and so on for dashboards. So basically just how we can stream our data, show visualizations, could be optic counts and so on for our real time counting system. That is very good to just have a dashboard. We can also build some custom UIs. I'm using Streamlit a lot as well, just for making quick proof of concepts. You can stream all your data there. It works locally. You can also build custom UIs and so on. So this is pretty awesome. Basically just we need some dashboard for monitoring of our computer vision system. Most of them is running locally, so it's really easy to just have some dashboards. Grafana, custom dashboard and Streamlit is very powerful. Then we need some API development, also depending on your UI. You can have very specialized, very custom UIs and even high level ones as well, but we also need the backend system. We need to connect to databases. We don't just want to throw our information out of the window. Like most of the time, we just get our results from our system. We show it 
inside our video stream. We just show the count in the top left corner in our pre-recorded video, but we actually need to store that data in our database somehow. And if we want to show it in a UI, we need to have all these APIs up and running. So fast API is very strong for that. GRPC also very good, just how REST APIs work in general. WebSockets, you can just connect WebSockets if you work locally and so on for communication back and forth across the internet. All of these things here, we need to know them as computer vision engineers because this is 80% of the work. If we don't know any of this, we can't put our models into production, act like applied on real world use cases. And this is very important because I feel there's a huge gap between going from university, traditional education, or basically just if you're learning it by yourself and so on, you might not think about these things here. You might just be very focused on actually knowing, okay, how, what does this activation function do? What is the theory going behind our network, backpropagation? How do I write out the formula for backpropagation? Like if you're in a university, you go to an exam for machine learning AI, like they're going to ask you to write out the backpropagation formula. It doesn't matter at all in the real world. We just need to know high level, how does it work? Okay, backpropagation, this is how our network works. It's way better to know Docker, Kubernetes, Prometheus, Grafana, fast API, how we connect systems together and build full system architectures. So I hope you learned a ton this video here. I'm definitely going to create way more videos about this in the future because it's so important. And we're also going to dive into more details. I'm going to create full courses. We already teach this within my AI career program. We have a focus on building real world systems because this is the way to stand out, do freelance work, get better job offers, and basically just grow your network, get out there, stand out, because most people, you don't have to do a lot because most people, they just focus on the theory or at least put 90% of the effort into the theory where you should put 90% into the software architectures and systems.